up guys? Uh, in this video, I'm actually not going to teach you how to build anything. So if you came here thinking I'm going to teach you how to do something, go ahead and hit the back button now. Uh, what I actually wanted to do was just make a quick video explaining this new project I'm working on. And what you see here is the proof of concept for that project. So I know it works. And trust me, I wouldn't make this video if I wasn't fully committed to building it. So what is it? It's going to be an 8 by 8 by 8 RGB LED cube. And what you see here is one of the RGB LEDs that would be in the cube uh, as if it was actually built. So the control board for the cube is completely designed. I'm still working out the details as to how I'm going to build the cube up itself, but I have a pretty good idea how I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to build up a really cool jig that you know you just drop the LEDs into and then you solder all the wires. So it kind of goes quick and it keeps everything straight and uh, symmetric so it looks really cool, like almost like it was professionally built. And trust me, it's going to have like that cool skeletal architecture, you know what I mean? So you could see all the LEDs in the circuit. So uh, anyways, that's what's coming up. Uh, right here, I'm just kind of running through a little sequence of colors, um, basically. So let me just explain what this cube entails. It's 512 RGB LEDs. Each of them has four leads. Okay, so they're common anode RGB LEDs. The three colors RGB breaks out the LED into three LEDs, in case you don't know what RGB LEDs are. So what I'm getting at is that this control board will be able to control 1,536 LEDs. And if that's not cool enough, we're gonna be able to control the brightness on every single one of those LEDs. Um, my proof of concept here gives me a brightness resolution from zero to 15. So it's just four bit resolution, which I think is just perfectly fine. And right here, I'm just kind of running through the color wheel of that resolution and it's plenty. So each, each color in the LED, the red, the green, the blue, each has a resolution of four bits. Okay. And I'm doing it in such a really cool way that there's plenty of CPU overhead. So I'm going to be able to connect this into the computer and stream animations into it from like processing or maybe even like a, a, a video or something. Maybe um, I might even put be able to uh, one idea I'm kind of messing around with is having an external uh, memory chip that the Arduino will stream the animations off of. And by the way, I just said Arduino. This will all be Arduino based. It will only require maybe three or four pins off your Arduino to drive 512 LEDs, which is just crazy. So we've got um, 25 8-bit shift registers in this whole design. There's gonna be something like uh, 192 transistors for it. So it's gonna be a pretty big project. It's gonna take me a while, but I'm fully committed to this. Just so you know, I'm not just making this video up and I'm not going to build it. I'm actually fully committed to this. I actually just bought 600 RGB LEDs from Hong Kong last week. So they're on order and I'm not just going to sit around with 600 LEDs and not do anything with them. So I'm going to build this thing. But I really, the reason I wanted to make this video is because I want to find out from you guys if you'd be interested in buying this as a kit. Like... I mean, obviously, I'm going to give you everything you need, and I'm committed to using through-hole parts for this, so you can breadboard it all up. Like, I'm not going to use some crazy surface mount parts that, you know, you, you have to do solder onto some kind of breakout board or something like that. Every part I use is going to be breadboard safe, we'll call, so you can put it on the breadboard, and I'll actually breadboard this whole thing up. And I'm going to give you tutorials step-by-step step through this and get this. I'm even going to draw up some schematics. I'm in the process of learning uh, Eagle CAD or whatever it's called. And so anyway, I will actually have this all in a, into a schematic. And again, what I'm, what I'm getting back to is, uh, is whether or not you want to purchase this as a kit, which would mean, because I know a lot of times, you know, you're going to have 25 shift registers here, all those transistors. It would be kind of nice that instead of putting it on a proto board, which you still fully can if you want to, I'm thinking about ordering PCBs and then, you know, make them available for purchase on my website. Or maybe even start a Kickstarter 
thing. If you don't know what Kickstarter is, Google, it's kind of cool. So I can put this project up there and then you pledge like, you know, 50 bucks or whatever. And then when the project is ready to go, then uh, you will get that that uh, bare board and all the parts and whatever I have on there. So let me know what you think about that. Um, again, this is all going to be with the Arduino. And if you don't like the Arduino, you can use whatever you want because it's going to be kind of like a shield interface to the Arduino. So the pins that you need will be broken out. So you can use the Arduino. You could use the new Raspberry Pi if you want. You could use an FPGA. You can use anything you want. Or if you don't like my code, you can, you know, use your own code. I don't care. But anyways, the tutorials are coming on this. The build is coming. Everything is coming. I just wanted to get your eye. I just wanted to get your thoughts on uh, as to whether or not this would be something you'd want to get as a kit maybe or something. I don't know. Just to make things a little bit easy. So let me know. Thanks for watching.